Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Tech Tuxedo. Today in this video we are going to learn how to create CH root over SFTP and SSH. If you don't know what CH root is, please go into another video uh, where I am explaining CH root. You can find that in my playlist or my video list. Just to explain briefly, CH root is basically it's a limitation it's limiting a user to think it's the root of the system and it's it, it, it's basically used to jail a user and cage him in an environment where it can't escape from that jail and it's not able to view the actual root directories and then the new jail user is only limited to our jail environment so now in this video we are going to create that jail user we are going to uh, do ch root over sftp and sh both okay guys let's start it first of all i'm going to create my jail directory let's create it in home jail now this jail directory should be owned by root Oh, sorry. All right, friends. Jail directory is owned by root. Now we will create our user. Let's call it jail user. and let's give it home directory to jail user I have to create that directory first so okay now any DC password you can see the home directory for our jail user now next thing is to create a group we'll use group add command to create a jail group and we will add our user jail user to this jail group Now this is a must do step. We have to we have to add our jail user to this jail group because we are doing ch root matched on group and it's gonna match the jail group. So every user that you want to jail you need to add to this jail group. You can add more users if you like, and they all will be jailed. Now, now we are gonna start our. You're gonna see our settings in SSD config. You have to change two settings over here. First one is. Subsystem, you have to change this. This should be subsystem SFTP internal SFTP, and the last one is the match command. I'm going to say match group because we are matching with group j group name jail ch root directory that is home and jail okay now we're gonna restart our SSH now CH root should work 
over SFTP but it should not work over SSH okay sorry we didn't give password to the user okay I'm in now to test it we will try to go to etc directory and see if that user can actually move to this directory and it cannot so the user cannot go to etc directory time directory and is actually jailed within the jailed environment okay fair enough ok guys now let's try it over ssh and i'm sure it's gonna fail over ssh saying cannot permission issues with bin bash ok because there is no bin bash file so now in our jail environment we have to create bin directory lib directory lib64 directory and in the bin directory we have to copy our bin bash command and now we have to do ldd to copy all the libraries bash libraries so we have to copy all of them ok I'm gonna copy this one this one this one and this one and they're going to my lib64 directory now let's ssh to jail user and we are in now for this okay so we have only given bin bash so there should be minimal command for the user but if we try to do cd slash home it's gonna work because there is a home directory but if we do slash etc it's not gonna work and do time so for this user slash home jail user that's it that's the limitation it's not able to go to etc directory it's not able to go to any directory for this user it has to be jailed between in the jail directory so it's a good and cool trick to do if you want if you have a user you want to create a user or which where uh, you don't want that user to go to uh, everywhere in your system you can use chroot or if in any case there is a requirement where you want some user to log in via ssh or via SFTP and you don't want it to be roaming around in your environment you can create a ch root you can give all the files all the command you want to give and your environment will be safe and secure thank you guys thanks for watching I hope this video was useful please like and subscribe to our channel please put in comment if you have any question regarding ch root or if I miss something thank you have a nice day